Hey, Brian, it was great talking to you today. Uh, so I did take a look at your site, pulled up your competition, and pulled up some different aspects. We're going to go over content, citations, and backlinks. Uh, before I get into that, I do want to say thank you for your service. Uh, both my father and my grandfather served, so uh, I, I do appreciate it, and I understand the sacrifice, so, uh, so thank you. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. The number one thing that gets a site to rank and brings customer is content. Google usually looks for about 1,500 words of content on a page in order to understand what the page is about and be able to find keywords, which is just a phrase that people are searching for to find your service. So you got a nice looking website, uh, adding some content on here and making sure you get main keywords like kitchen remodeling in here and, and you know custom built homes where you want it to rank uh, will help you out tremendously. The other thing is a call to action, like give us a call and a, a click button right away will help you out as well with conversions. So I do have one of the phrases pulled up here, kitchen remodeling, Virginia Beach. I do want to point out that there's 320 people searching this exact phrase each month uh, looking for the service. So, of course, you got the, the Google ads up at the top and then you got the map pack. In order to rank in the map pack, all you need is more citations in your competition. That's going to be the number one um, variable to ranking in here. What's a citation? Citation is your name, address, phone number, and business URL or your website being listed in a, a directory. A directory is like Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, basically anywhere a pe people can go to get a list of businesses. So getting that will help out quite a bit. The second major factor in ranking in the map pack is ranking organically and all that really means is ranking on your your standard website so getting your web page to be the top up here so i did pull up a couple of your competitions just so we could see what they've got on their websites and see how they're they're doing it they do have a, a little bit more content embedded on here the images do help with um, keywords and, and things of that nature but they don't have a, a significant amount of content, so you'll be able to beat them. I did notice they have a decent backlink profile, which we'll get into here in a second. We do pull up your other uh, competition here, and this is more of a, a blog than anything, but they're ranking uh, based on you know the content that they've got on their page here. So even though they're not a direct competitor, you're going to want to beat these guys out and all you're going to need to do that is uh, have more content on your page and, you know, backlinks. All right. So I keep saying backlinks. What is a backlink? Backlink is a link from one website to another. So if somebody gives you a review on a news station and they write an article about you and say how fantastic of a job you did on their kitchen remodel or, or custom home you, you built them, and they put a link on their website to yours, that would be one backlink. Not all backlinks are the same, so they have to be relevant. If it's a pizza article and they're talking about how great pizza is and they just reference your website, that's not going to help you at all. It could actually hurt you. And then, of course, the popularity of that site. So a news station is going to have a lot more popularity than just some guy who's got a blog that nobody reads. So making sure you have good quality backlinks will drive your, your scores up here. These scores, there's a lot that goes into them, but the basic is, you know, it's a popularity score. It's out of 100, so zero is not great. 100 is fantastic. Um, Facebook would be, you know, 100. So the higher these numbers are, means the, the more powerful and more popular sites you've got pointing to your website. And what that does is gets Google to crawl your page more often because they know a lot of people are pointing at you. So you must have good content on there and things that people want to see and read. So Google will then read your content more often and try to find things and connect things in ways that might not be obvious so that you can rank for more things and be found for everything that someone would be looking for. So we got you pulled up here in competition. This is the actual, you know, kitchen website. So they're, they're doing pretty well. They've got a decent score here. And then the blogging side, of course, they've got a very popular site, but it's not as relevant. Uh, but you still would want to beat them out. So to kind of recap on things that you can do that will really help your site out is adding more content, 
adding a, a call to action on the on your page would definitely help as well getting some more citations so you show up in that map pack and then adding more backlinks to give your site a little bit more power so that you can be found for that uh, content that you put on there well brian once again thanks for watching the video please let me know what you think uh, can't wait to hear from you talk to you soon